Okay, in this proof, we're um, asked to show that CAD is congruent to DCB. And we're given this idea that CAD, one of these angles, is complementary to DCA. That should spark something in your brain that says, wait a second, there's a theorem called congruent complements that says if CAD is complementary to DCA and DCB is complementary to DCA, then CAD is congruent to DCB. So that must be true. So a nice way to go about this proof would be to try to prove that DCB and DCA are complementary. And it turns out that we can do that pretty easily because AC is perpendicular to BC. So let's go ahead and write that down. Um, the AC being perpendicular to D, uh, BC tells us that that's a right angle. And so we just have to do some angle addition to show, prove that those are complementary. So I'll show you how to go about uh, doing that. So that's our given. From the given, we know since AC is perpendicular to BC, by definition, angle ACD and angle or angle ACB is a right angle. That's the definition of perpendicular lines. The lines meet at right angles. And so that's just definition of perpendicular lines. Why that happens. Your second uh, your next thing is to say that, well, what does it mean to be a right angle? It just means that their measure equals 90 degrees. So that's just definition of right angles. So now we know that a, um, ACB is a 90 degree angle, but we also know about ACB that the measure of ACD plus the measure of DCB equals the measure of ACB. So we did uh, angle addition to show that this angle plus that angle equals the whole angle. That's what we were doing there. And that's just going to be angle addition postulate. Angle addition postulate. Now that's good because we can claim then that by substitution measure of angle ACD plus measure of angle DCB equals 90 degrees. And once we have that, then that means we know that angles ACD and angle DCB are complementary. Um, so five was by substitution. All right, we substituted in 90 for ACB. And then six here was just definition of complementary angles. And then we apply that really nice theorem, which is called the congruent complement theorem, which said if ACD is complementary to CAD and DCB, then those two angles must be congruent to each other. And so angle C, we can claim angle CAD is congruent to angle DCB as a direct application as of the congruent complement theorem. And that's a good solid proof um, of this statement that angle CAD is congruent to angle DCB. You could have also gotten there by using 90 degrees and never using the congruent complements. It just would have taken you a few more steps to finish the proof.